Read my lips. Protect your lips. Salut, bonjour everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel, my name is Siri. I used to be a stem cell researcher for quite some time and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And today's video are going to be about lip screen, so basically sunscreen for your lips. I should have done this video for a very long time because this is definitely true that this is an area that we tend to forget a lot. This is probably the same for the back of your neck and also the top of your ears. Please do not forget those areas. So this is going to be basically a very short video. I'm going to show you three products. So the rationale is always the same as for the face, as for the body or basically any part around here. You do need to protect them from the sun, from UVB and also UVA. So UVA are divided into UVA type 2 and UVA type 1. We have also a compelling amount to show that UVA type 1 are dreadful. You also have them when you are at home and they are also going to be the one that will aid you the most. UVB and UVA type 2 are also dreadful. So even though I talk about a lot about UVA type 1, don't forget about those one. And even when you are at home, as long as you have visible light from the outside, most likely you also have UVA type 1, so you need to protect uh, your skin basically from it. So I have three to show you. Uh, the first one is completely invisible on the lips. This is this one, the SVR, the Sun Secure, the stick, they have two. They have this one, which is the invisible, and the other one is the mineral one, and this one, ugh, this one is dreadful, absolutely dreadful, horrific, basically. So don't use the mineral one, and it will have the strongest white cast on planet Earth, and it has perfume. I mean, this stuff is disgusting. Not this one. The filtering system, so... Of course, this is an SPF of 50 plus. This is a UPN one, so therefore the UVA protection is at least of 20. Most likely above this, looking at the formula, but uh, SVR doesn't want to disclose the UVA protection, so you can go and DM them uh, and basically force them to tell us the truth. So the first filter is Uvenol A+, uh, UVA type 1 mainly absorbent. Then we have Omosalat which is a UVB absorbent, another one, uh, another UVB absorbent, which is Isco-Trizinol, and then we have the Tinozorb S, which is a wonderful, wonderful broad spectrum organic filter that absorbs UVB, UVA type 2, and UVA type 1. So what I like here is that we do have redundancy for UVB and also UVA type 1, which is uh, very important. So like I said, choose this one if you want to have something that is very invisible on on the skin and also on the lips. <laughs> uh, I do need to wear uh, a lip balm before it. My lips are extremely, extremely dry. The one that I use, and I have a review about it, this is the Uriage, the Barrier Derm, the ointment for fissures and cracks. It was not meant to be used for the lips, but it is perfect on the lips. The other one, which is the one that I use the most, look at the packaging. So, so old right now, even though I do use it a lot. This is the Bioderma, the Sika Bio, the stick. This one, glorious. So this one does have um, a more shiny finish. It is not like a gloss, but it is a little bit more shinier. And it is also very, very emollient. I cannot use it uh, solely without any um, lip moisturizer because, I mean, I am like that. I do need my lip balm. But when I do the combo of my lip balm, so the Uriage and this one, it is Glorious. So this one also in terms of filters is bomb, bomb, bomb. The first one is Uvenola Plus. Then we have again Homo Salat. Then we have Tinoz of S. You know the drill. Then we have Octisalate, also known as Ethyl Exyl Salicylate. Uvenol T150. And the last one is Titanium uh, Dioxide. I don't see any um, white cast with this one. So I'm pretty sure that it is pretty uh, minimal on the list. Also, it is uh, greenish. And it has a little smell, a little plant smell, most likely because of the high concentration of um, Santella Asiatica extract in this one. I mean, this is definitely my favorite uh, one to use. The last one is from another French brand. This is the Uriage. This one, I have also used it a lot and a lot. This one is the Uriage, the Barrier Sun, the Stick Invisible. It is not really invisible because it does have a tiny white cast. So if you are more in uh, the nude lip, I would say, look, you can try this one. Also, this one has some pigments, some uh, pink pigments on the lip. Mm. I don't know if you can tell, but it is a little bit whiter. So again, 
the filtration system, Uvinyl A+, Plus, Octinoxate, Uvinyl P150, Optisalate, Channels of S and Titanium Dioxide. I'm pretty sure that the Titanium Dioxide, this is why you have the white cast. I mean, also this one is wonderful. You can also use it actually um, on your face. So the finish of it, as you can see, it is a normal finish. It is not uh, really matte. It is not really shiny. You can also use it on your face. I cannot use it for a very long time on my face. I do believe that this is probably because of the Octinoxate. If I use it uh, like uh, four days on the row, on the fourth day, I will start to have like some eruption around here and irritation. I'm pretty sure that it, it is because of the Octinoxate, but I'm not sure um, of it, which might not be the case for you, of course. I mean, those three are um, insanely good for different reasons. So this one is absolutely invisible on the lips. It is not really moisturizing, but not drying at the same time. The Bioderma has a more shiny finish. It's still, this is not a gloss, but it's very, very moisturizing. Also looking at the filter, this is probably the most protective one, but I cannot be sure. And the last one is the Barrier Derm. So you have a little bit of a nude effect around here. You can also use it um, on your face. This is uh, glorious. The SVR too, you can use it on the face, but this one is um, a little bit more pleasant, I would say to use and basically that's it so please do not forget to protect your lips again don't go below spf 50 plus please uvb are absolutely dreadful for the skin even when you don't have a sunburn so please spf 50 plus so basically that's it give it a thumbs up if you did like this video also don't forget to subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot and you have the bell please uh, ring it because like this you will get notified every time I post a new video. I have also my Instagram account. I am Cyril Laurent. I have a lot of stuff around here. Also, if you can catch and come to one of my live, of my life, you have more than welcome. Well, and basically that's it. So I will see you next time. So stay tuned. Bye-bye. <laughs>